Hi everyone, it's AJ and welcome back to the channel. Wow, look at that, I've got some lens flare. Is that cool or isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, it's there, it's there to stay. I'm not gonna try and get rid of it. Um, yeah, looks like I'm in a Star Trek film. JJ Abram style, wow. Anyway, welcome to another comic book corner. Um, comic book update, the items that I've picked up on my last comic trip, which was last Friday. Um, let's have a look at what I picked up, just a quick show and tell. So first up is the new Fantastic Four. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'd get this, because um, it's obviously outside the continuity of the standard Fantastic Four, for the most part, in that you have Wolverine, Spider-Man, Hulk and Ghost Rider. Now, a long time ago, probably about 20 years, there was a, a ser um, these characters did form the Fantastic Four in the Fantastic Four comic book. Um, and this is like a reuniting of these characters. It was only for a short story, a um, couple of a um, couple of few issues, a couple of issues like that. So, yeah, it's sort of just that nostalgia sort of touch with it. So that's really nice. Um, love the cover. Um, it's got decent art inside as well. Nice um, artist on it. Who is the artist on this? Have a look, see if I can find it. Um, Alan Robinson. Oh, and it's written by Peter David. Peter David's a very famous comic book writer. Um, so, yeah. Not only that, but I did pick up an alternate cover, a variant cover, um, which is that. Yeah. Very good. Um, then I picked up, because I somehow missed it, issue eight of King Spawn. Um, I was missing this one somehow. I don't know. It slipped through the net somehow. I usually pick these up through eBay um, in my local comic book store and they, they hold them over for me. But I, I didn't get that one. Then we have... Oh, wait a minute. Let's just have a quick look at some of the art in that one. Um, yeah, these... I'm on this sort of court spawn kick at the moment. Really enjoying the character. Then we have Fate of Cybertron. Um a Transformers comic, and I believe this is the very last issue of, um, or, or one of the last issues done by um, IDW, it looks like, because it's got like a sort of a see you later farewell bit in there. Um, so we'll see about that. I haven't read nothing, because I don't really keep up to date in that sense of stuff. Then we have issue three of Wolverine Patch, um, which is a mini series that, um, I'm more into the mini series at the moment than ongoing, because ongoing I never really stick with anymore, unfortunately. Um, then we have issue two of Captain America, Symbol of Truth. Um, Sam Wilson's Captain America and um, Deadpool, guest starring in somebody in her art. Then we have from Titan Comics, issue four of a comic called Gun Honey, um, which is a comic that I'm reading at the moment. At the moment. Um, Titan do the actual Blade Runner comics that I'm getting at the moment. Yeah, and issue three of Venom Lethal Protector. Um, when Venom first got an ongoing comic, he was known as the Lethal Protector because they turned him into an anti-hero. And this kind of takes Venom back to being that kind of a character. This is a comic as knock-on effect of the last Venom Carnage film. Then we have a DC Black Label series, um, Batman Beyond the White Knight. Um, yes. Now, I know I am said I'm suffering with a sort of Batman fatigue, so I'm not reading too many Batman comics. But this one is set in, in like, the universe of Batman Beyond. Yeah. There is a variant cover available, um, which is actually that there. That cover. And then I have issue one of Spider-Man Exodus 2099. Um... Again, a character that I really like is, is Spider-Man 2099. I was there when, and I've got the early first issues of it. Um, it's good stuff. Now, I do have issue two, um, but the way that I buy, if something's delayed, my the group of comics that I bought gets delayed. So I've got issue two, but there's issue three um, of 2099 Spider-Man. 
and and what what's great is that they have put him back into the, the classic first suit that he had which they did have a little change up a couple of years ago and I wasn't too into the new look and we have um, a, an issue four of She-Hulk obviously we have the TV series coming soon um, now She-Hulk's always been very sort of a comedic approach to to comic book um, and, and the TV series is gonna sort of follow suit to that and also I picked up a, a variant cover which shows all the different She-Hulk costumes and stuff there, which she is fantastic for through the um, through the years. That's nice. And then um, issue sixty-one of Grim Fairy Tales, which is a sort of set within you know it's a fairy tales world, but um, it's darker and grittier than what the Disney stuff has you believe. It's it's more yeah. Send a scope of creating a whole array of titles from them characters. Then we have um, Vampy vs. the Vamp with a, a photo cover, cosplay photo cover. Um, I don't know if this is um, a one off or ongoing. Let's have a look. Oh, it's in. It's the end. It's the, it's a one-off. Um, let's see what else is coming out. So, oh, blimey. So we do have a Mad Balls versus Garbage Pal Kids comic coming. Um, I remember Garbage Pal Kids um, with the trading cards when I was a young lad. Um, that might be of interest. Issue one in July. I have to keep an eye out for that. And we're getting another Army of Darkness versus Reanimator comic book crossover. Um, good. Savage Tales. So that's that's very good. And then we have Vampirella Strikes. Issue one. Now I did review the Vampirella movie a, a short while ago, um, starring Talisa Soto. I think it's from like '96. So yeah. And I have another issue of that with a variant cosplay cover. Then we have Immortal Red Sonia issue two um, with variant cosplay. The art in here is just dross, though. It, it really isn't good, um, which is unfortunate for the Red Sonia comics. It's like they just don't give a crap who's drawing them. Then we have. Um, cosplay photo variant for issue 10 of the ongoing Red Sonja. That was Immortal Red Sonja before. Um, but again, the art isn't fantastic by any means at all. And, and it is a shame. It really is. You know. But what can you do? Then we have issue 4 of... Um, Again from Dynamite, which they're from, is Draculina, which is like a spin-off from Vampirella. Um, it's set in, you know, these characters do all meet up and stuff. Yeah. Um, so that is, I just got bent down because I dropped one. That is the lot. Those are the pickups for from the last Orange and Comic Shop, which was a few days ago. Um, yeah, so that was it, just a quick update of my comic collection. This is AJ. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care all.